So sometimes it can be a little hard in this interpretation. Remember from our, uh, the video on how to interpret the regression equation, right? We said every single point increase in X, we have a 0.11 increase in grade, scaled by the y-intercept of 2.56. Well, uh, okay, but if I don't really understand the scale of attention, I don't really understand the scale of grade, this can be really confusing, right? And what if I want to look at some other variable too, right? So I want to look at previous grades. And I come up with some other equation that, you know, my grade is equal to, you know, maybe like 1.02 times previous grade, probably plus like 0 0.01 or something like that, right? So in this case, now, I'm, okay, so for every single point increase in my previous grades, I expect a 1.02 increase in my, in my future grade, in my predicted grade. That kind of makes sense. But how do I compare these two, right? Can I say one's more important than the other? I really can't. I'm comparing apples to oranges because the scales are different. And that's really the problem here is I have a hard time interpreting these results because I don't understand the scales that are at play here. The good news is... The good news is that we have a way to standardize, right? And so we can turn these apples and oranges. We're not comparing apples and oranges. We can turn them to all apples or all oranges. So we can compare two like things. And that's our standardized regression equation. So what I can do is I can convert all of my data into z-scores, right? Remember that a z-score, right? So the z of x is just equal to, for any particular value of x, x minus the mean of x over uh, the standard deviation of x, right? And so this takes us to a place where uh, we've removed the scaling information, that all we have is the variation. We have this x. We, we understand its relationship to the mean and, and how uh, wide that is, right? And so... This is a standardized value of x. And so if I have another, the standardized value of y is equal to the difference between y and the mean over the standard deviation of y, right? That tells us our, y, our, our, our standardized y. Well, if I standardize all my x's and all my y's, now they're on the same scale. Right now, I can compare them in a different way. And if I do this for additional x's, they're on the same scale again. So now my interpretations are not based on my understanding of the scales of how I measured x and y. So we have a standardized regression equation. The standardized regression equation says that zy is equal to beta times zx. Right? So the expected z-score of y is equal to beta. This is... It's hard to see with my handwriting. This is the Greek letter beta times the standardized z-score value of x. That's our standardized regression equation. Note that there is no y-intercept. I don't need a y-intercept because all the y-intercept does for me is it's a scaling thing. Right? It helps change the scale of x to the scale of y. Well, these are standardized to the same scale, so I don't need that anymore. They're on the same scale. If I have if I have a regular regression equation, I can convert b into beta, right? So if, if SPSS or whatever gives me the numbers for this equation, tells me b and a, I can do a conversion here. And beta is equal to b times the standard deviation of x over the standard deviation of y. So if I want to do that, there it is. Here's one more thing that's really interesting here. For bivariate regression, right? And so there's, there's multivariate regression, which means multiple variables. There's also bivariate regression, which means two variables. Those variables are x and y. For bivariate regression, which means I have one predictor and one outcome variable, beta is equal to Pearson's r, the regression coefficient. Right? So for bivariate regression, 
beta is the same thing as r, and all those same rules apply, right? So beta for bivariate regression will range from negative 1 to 1. Uh, it assumes linearity. Anything that we say about correlation is true is a simple regression and the beta weight uh, or that beta value because they're the same number. So this is only true for bivariate regression. It is less true. It's not true for multivariate regression. But for bivariate regression, it's about the relationship. Beta is R. It's described by the relationship between X and Y.